Hello friends. Welcome to the channel. Electrical Deck. In this video, we are going to learn about behavior of transformer on load. When an electrical load is connected to the secondary winding of a transformer, then the transformer is said to be on load. When a transformer is loaded, current flows in the secondary winding and out to the load. This secondary current is due to the induced secondary voltage set up by the magnetic flux created in the core from the primary current. Let us see how a transformer behaves when a load is connected to it. When the transformer is loaded, the current I2 flows through the secondary winding. The magnitude and phase of I2 is determined by the nature of the load. If load is inductive, the current I2 lags the voltage V2. If load is capacitive, the current I2 leads the voltage V2. While for resistive load, I2 is in phase with V2. Now, when the transformer is loaded, there exists a secondary MMF, N2, I2, due to which secondary current set up its own flux, pi2. This flux opposes the main flux, pi, which is produced in the core, due to magnetizing component of no load current. Hence the MMF, N2, I2, is called demagnetizing ampere turns. The flux, pi2, momentarily reduces the main flux, pi, due to which the primary induced EMF, E1, also reduces. Hence, the vector difference, V1, minus, E1, increases, due to which, primary draws, more current from the supply. This additional current, I2 dash, drawn by the primary, is due to the load. Hence, it is called, load component of primary current. This current, I2 dash, is in antiphase with I2. The current, I2 dash, set up its, own flux, pi2 dash, which opposes the flux, pi2, and helps the, main flux, pi1. This flux pi2 dash neutralizes the flux pi2 produced by current i2. The MMF, that is ampere turns, N1, I2 dash balances the ampere turns, N2, I2. Hence, the net flux in the core is again maintained at constant level. Thus, for any load condition, no load to full load, the flux in the core is practically constant. The load component current I2 dash always neutralizes the changes in the load. As practically, flux in core is constant. The core loss is also constant for all the loads. Hence, the transformer is called constant flux machine. As ampere turns are balanced, we can write N2, I2, equal to N1, I2 dash. Therefore, I2 dash, equal to K, I2, where K is transformation ratio of transformer. Thus, when a transformer is loaded, the primary current, I1, has two components. The no load current, I0, which lags, V1, by an angle, pi0. The no load current, has two components, magnetizing component, IM, and active component, IC. The load component, I2 dash, which is in, antiphase with, I2. Hence, the primary current, I1, is the vector sum of, I0, and, I2 dash. Let us see the phasor diagram for different load conditions. Assume if the load is inductive, secondary current I2 lags secondary EMF E2 by an angle pi2. If the load is pure resistive, both I2 and E2 will be in phase. Similarly, if the load is capacitive, I2 leads the E2 by an angle pi2. Here, remember that I2 dash is always in antiphase with I2. Thank you for watching video. See you soon again. And don't forget to subscribe us for more electrical stuff.